Hi everyone, this is Nutra from the QC Gaming Network. Today we are going to be looking at the Earthquake Barb for patch 2.4 Season 5. This build was buffed quite a bit in patch 2.4 and it is now probably one of the strongest builds you can do as a Barbarian. I would also like to remind everybody that this is a PTR build so there may have been changes since we have recorded this video. So let's start by looking at the gear you're going to require. For your weapon you are going to require Blade of the Tribes. This will make it so your war cries and threatening shouts will cause an avalanche and an earthquake. This is very strong. For your armor, you are going to require the Might of the Earth set. With the 2 piece bonus, every time you spend 30 fury it will reduce the cooldown of your leap and earthquake by 1 second. This is what will allow you to spam most of your abilities. With the 4 set bonus, leap will cause an earthquake when you land and will gain the effect of the iron impact rune. And last but not the least, the 6 piece bonus will increase the damage of all the skills you're going to be using for this build by 800%. This is uh, pretty important for your build. For rings and amulets, you should be using Focus and Restraint, and a Hellfire Amulet with Nerves of Steel. If you don't manage to get Nerves of Steel on a good Hellfire Amulet, try getting any of the passives your build normally uses. For the last two remaining pieces of your gear, for Bracers you're going to be using Scholar's Salvation which increases the damage of your Ancient Spear by quite a lot. And uh, Dead Iron. Dead Iron has been reworked this patch and is now a build specifically for Earthquake Barbs. It will increase the damage your Avalanche does by 200%. And finally for your cube guys, uh, the three items you're going to require are the Furnace, Band of Might, and Lut Socks. Lut Socks are mandatory for this build. This is what will allow you to Leap Slam two more additional times after casting Leap Slam. And Band of Might will make it so that you gain a damage reduction buff uh, whenever you Leap Slam. So this is really good for your survivability. The last item you'll want to use for your cube is the Furnace. The Furnace is actually a pretty rare unique, so if you're having a hard time finding it, it's not absolutely mandatory for your build, but it is a nice damage increase when you get it. That's pretty much it for the gear guys. I will go over the gems and paragon points really quickly. For gems you'll want to use esoteric alteration for a damage reduction. This will help you uh, survive. Uh, Bane of the Trap for the damage it will give you and Bane of the Stricken to help you kill Rift Guardians. For the paragon points I'm not going to go into too much detail since uh, as soon as you hit level 800 you will have all of them. But if you want the order in which you should be getting them uh, leveling up just press pause here. I've listed them from 1 to 4 in the order of importance. Alright, so now that we're done with that, uh, let's quickly go over the skills we'll be using. So for the left click, uh, I use the Warcry with uh, Veteran's Warning Rune. This is strictly used as a Fury Generator and a buff. It gives you a buff when you cast it. For the right click, we'll be using Earthquake with the Cave-In Rune. This is uh, what's going to pull all the mobs together. This is what makes you clear extremely fast and extremely efficient. So for your skill 3 and 4 you're going to be using Battle Rage with the Bloodshed Rune and Threatening Shout with the Falter Rune. Battle Rage will increase your crit hit chance and make it so that your crits explode. That's a really good buff. And Threatening Shout will increase the damage enemies take and will actually generate 15 Fury. So it's used as a Fury Generator. And with the Earth Set it has an added effect of causing an Avalanche so it can be used as an offensive move also. The last two skills that you're going to be using, and probably the most important ones, are Leap with the Death from Above Rune and Ancient Spear with the Boulder Touch. With the items that you have in your cube, you're going to be able to leap three times in a row. So Leap will be used as your main Fury Generator. Ancient Spear will be used as your main Fury Spender. Whenever you spend Fury, you got to remember that this will reduce the cooldowns of all your other abilities. This is what will allow you to spam your abilities without having to worry too much about the cooldown. Finally for passives guys, you're going to be using Amnimosity, which will increase your Fury generation by 10% and increase your maximum Fury by 20 and Ruthless, which will make you deal 40% additional damage to enemies below 30%. For your third passive, you'll be using Earthen Might, which will give you 30 Fury when an Avalanche or an Earthquake is triggered. Since most of your skills will do this, this is actually very useful. And finally, the last passive you're going to be using is Rampage, which will increase your strength by 1% for every kill. This stacks up to 25 times, so it's basically a 25% strength increase. So that's pretty much it for the video guys. If you like it, please remember to thumbs us up and uh, subscribe. If you have any comments or any concerns, please uh, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.